Good morning. This is KBVR Corvallis, Second String Sports on 88.7 FM. Friday, February 14th. You know what that means. It's Valentine's love. Day. It's love in the air. So, uh, it's been a... I hope Cupid strikes me with this arrow. <laughs> For anyone listening up and early on Valentine's Day. Sorry, it's, I've already been struck. So sorry. Good morning. Logan's already been struck. Sorry for that uh, shaky startup. We had some uh, getting the microphone set up and all that. All that good stuff. So, Valentine's Day, Friday, midterms this week. We survived the snow apocalypse. Yeah, you know. That was crazy. That was fun. Just thinking back to the last time that we had the show, we actually uh, we actually were here during Snowpocalypse uh, Part 1. Yeah, we took a week off. Took a week off last week, sorry about that. Part 2 is just... Uh, we didn't feel like trucking through the snow. You know, we didn't have our snowmobiles. We didn't have our snowboards, so... Wasn't really feeling the trek. Lots of slush on campus still. Definitely. Piles of snow. Yep. So, uh... But yeah, week 6... Just completed, you know. Week six. Week six is always the no- notoriously busy, busy week. So got about a month left in the term. About a month. About a month and a half. Yeah. Midterms this week for you guys. I know I had a couple. Nope. I've already uh, passed through my midterms. Mainly got a couple papers to write here. Mm. That's mainly what I got to do. It's now in the phase of the year when it's uh, winding down. A couple more midterms and all the all the classic projects that teachers make you do. Oh yeah. All the products are starting to pile up, but you know, it's all good. We're you know, grinding. The only thing that's the only thing that's getting me through is all the sports coming up and all the sports we have right now. All Star Weekend. We're gonna go more in depth into that later, of course. I'm sure y'all expected that. Any sports fans out there is big weekend in sports. But yeah, Civil War game. Civil War game. We got some uh, breaking, you know, just general sports news. We want to talk some. Uh, some Marcus Smart opinions, a little no. shove action. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm done with all the overused topics. Michael Sam, Martin Incognito, Marcus Smart. Yeah, why is Incognito even Gosh. been in the news again? Because they just released this big 144 page report today, like basically again exposing him. So he's not going to be on any N- any more NFL teams. Wait, he's seriously? Probably going to get suspended from the league, and they actually named two other people. And basically, just called out, kind of called out the whole Dolphins organization. What can organization. they possibly have in a four in a one hundred and forty page document? They had texts from Martin that hadn't been released, and then they had like oh, confirmations from the coaching staff that they didn't know what was going on and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's That's kind of bizarre. like the whole organization's fault. How does a coach not know what's going on in his own locker room? Like, Seriously. I don't, I don't understand that at all. Like, how can you let somebody harass? Somebody to the point of leaving a whole team, like you have to step in at some point, or a leader within the locker room has to step in, like a veteran, or you know, exactly. What what what's going on in Miami? But well, Miami is always that that classic football team that you know they'll they'll have the outside stories, but when are they ever going to be relevant in football? I mean, they had a decent. What are they? They started the year pretty decent, didn't they? They're all right. They're they're kind of gaining a little momentum, but you know. Gaining moment, they got those new. Not jerseys. not a not a contender at all, um, but yeah, pretty rough patch for the Blazers. Oh, kind of get into that. Kind of limping into the All Star break here. You Nothing know. wrong with that. Spurs. Well, coming from a Spurs, Spurs are in the same position. Honestly, Spurs, yeah, yeah, Spurs are injured. Yeah, I'm good with Blazers it. Blazers aren't really. It's not really. Have, besides for Joel Freeland, it doesn't really have to do with injuries for the Blazers uh, though. That broke my heart. Logan likes Joel Freeland for some reason. My oh boy. <laughs> Joel Freeland, the backup center on the Blazers from Britain. Britain. If if anybody hey, doesn't know who he, he was is. the well, what was he? The captain of the uh of the of the British team in the Olympics or something like that a couple years ago? Yeah, he's the man. Blazers are fifth in the West. Fifth it dropped it dropped from third to fifth with Houston, that loss to the Clippers. Houston went on a seven game win streak. Uh just lost to the Clippers and the Thunder. Both really close games. Um, But, yeah, I mean, it's kind of expected when we're in so many close games that we're going to lose a few here and there. And we're going to win a few here and there. I mean, it's just how it goes, you know. The heartbreakers that we can't close have just been tough, though, especially the Pacers game, the OT loss. Yeah, I don't mind, though. I don't really want to target on our back. I don't want to be first in the West, you know. I don't know. I'd rather have a sit in third. I was happy with third. 
Fifth kind of makes me uncomfortable. I'm happy with anywhere between th- three and six, honestly. But seven and eight. As long I, as we don't match up with I, uh, yeah. Phoenix or Houston, I'm good. <laughs> if the playoffs started now, Seems we like would match up with who? Dallas? We would be matched up with the Clippers. Which Ooh, we I'd could, be totally fine with we that. We could take. Ooh. We could take them. Instantly, we could take the Clippers. Dallas is actually sixth now. Golden State's dropped all the way to eight. Dang, Dallas got up there then. Yep. They're, uh, yep. They're kind of s- sneakily uh, going up right there right now, huh? Yes, sir. They've and been then, on a little streak, haven't they? Yeah, and then that nothing. But then Dirk got hurt, didn't he? He's out of the. Nah, he's. I don't think so. Nah, I thought he got hurt. Nah, you overreacted. I checked it. He like came. <laughs> <laughs> Once you saw the injury, you're like, yeah, he might be out for the All Star game. I checked it. He came back at after the halftime. Hey, I don't. I take my injury seriously. If I see an <laughs> if I see an alert, you know, Blazers fans taking their injuries. Seriously. Speaking of injury, obviously Kobe's not starting, so James Harden replaced yeah. him in the starting lineup for the All Star game. James Harden replaces. Him. What do you guys think about that? I'm fine with it. He's I, next best shooting guard, and yeah, uh, but it doesn't. It has to be a guard, not necessarily a shooting guard. Well, you okay, know. well, eh. the next best guard. Uh, but yeah. uh, Anthony Davis He's, also yeah. rep- also he replaces it on the time. roster, so that yeah. and it's good for New Orleans too. You know, for them to get someone in there and. Uh, you know, Anthony Davis has been a big spark plug for a New Orleans team that hasn't been that great this season. So, yep. I mean, yeah, New Orleans is um, doing doing pretty pretty poorly this season, but Anthony Davis is still playing really well, and you know, trying to trying to carry the team as much as he can. And uh, in the East, in the East. Um, in the East, nothing has changed at all. Indiana's still first. Miami second, followed by Toronto, Chicago, Atlanta. I don't think the East is going to change, honestly. Do you think Toronto's going to the- stick in there? Yeah. Do you guys see the Knicks making the playoffs? I, I, just- uh, I like or the, or the Cavs, maybe? They just fired the GM. They honestly, I can see the Knicks getting a 7th or 8th seed. Just because- over, over, like, the Bobcats, probably. Yeah, just because yeah. You, they could probably go on a little run. I see it, At yeah. the end of the season. Completely. It's not like the... It's not like the East. I completely see it. Yeah. You know, but um, what else has the been? The East is just an un- uninteresting facet of the NBA right now. Yeah. Um, we could talk the big the big buzzer beaters a couple nights ago. What was that? Wednesday night? Syracuse and LeBron against uh, Golden State? Yeah. Killer. That was Killer. intense. LeBron's second game winner in Golden State, right? I think. Yeah. I remember he had one earlier in his career. And then, On Iguodala, too. And then... uh. Ennis just comes in and makes a crazy shot for Syracuse. That we were all yeah. watching it together, and that was that was intense. That was ridiculous. That's like a March Madness kind of shot, yeah. you know. It had a March Madness feel. That pick pick oh, crowd yeah. was going crazy. Yeah, totally. Did you see his uh, stats at the end of the game? No. He's like five for five field goal, eight for eight free throw, just something ridiculous. He doesn't miss in the clutch. No turnovers. Um, yeah, Ennis is crazy clutch. He's only a freshman too, actually. Which is, you know, pretty impressive. What else has been some big news this week, guys? Sochi. I want to talk about Sochi. Sochi. Yeah, we've uh, we've been watching some Olympics. Some Olympic action. Yeah. You know? I love I love the Olympics. I like the Summer Olympics way better. More oh, of a yeah. Summer Olympics kind of guy. But winter, you know, winter still switches c- it up sometimes. It's a nice cool. change, you know. Yeah. I uh, I like the losing. I like. <laughs> Uh, what else? I love all of the freestyle skiing, snowboarding, snowboarding, skiing. Yeah. yeah, those are exciting. Uh, Sean White's been a little uh, disappointing. Disappointing in the news here. Got fourth in the uh, half pipe, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. but and he said he's gonna take a break from snowboarding. Tour with to his yeah. band. Tour it's with his it's band. the haircut. It's because he cut his hair, man. He's yeah. he's been knocked off his groove. Yeah. He's just not the same. He's just trying to be all preppy, you know, hot stuff now, but. It's all about the flying tomato, you know. That's what that's what it was all about. Oh my gosh! Not anymore. Not anymore. He's like the flying, uh, flying princess. <laughs> <laughs> the flying princess. I'm excited for hockey to get going. That's I mean, true. Hockey can be really. Hockey's cool. intense hockey in the be, Olympics. Yeah, hockey. Uh, Olympic hockey is. Who did we just beat? We beat. Did we beat Russia? Was it USA? Just blew someone. Slovenia out uh, seven Slovenia, to one. Yeah. Seven <laughs> in Slovenia. hockey. Slovenia. Destroy them. Yep. I'm not a not a big uh, figure skating guy. Yep. 
Only if it's a Chaz Michael Michael, but uh, <laughs> Blades of Glory. But you know, me and Logan, if we're sitting on the couch and we're like, "Oh, what's on the Olympics?" Oh, and it's figure so skating. Getting, uh, yeah, we instantly change it. Yeah. You can uh, change it to anything. Way about that light. Anything. USA is third total medals. Actually, they're tied for second. They have 12, 12 total medals. Yeah, D- representing pretty well, you know. Yep, classic. Uh, doesn't really surprise me, you know. Norway's up top. All about the uh, winter over there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Norway was a favorite in the Olympics. <laughs> Logan knows everything. They I like guess. they like their they like their snow. <laughs> they like their snow. That's true. <laughs> what else? Yeah. Um. We've been having the Beavers. Beavers football. We had a, Hired a. There was a couple NBA games last night that were pretty exciting. Yeah. Eh. The Lake Lakers and uh. That game came down to the wire. That's yeah, true. The Lakers and OKC. Yeah. Was pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, LA, you know, trying to squeak that one out. Chris came in, uh, gets an and one layup. Lakers were already up by fifteen at one point, and uh, Kevin Durant just. Yeah, Kevin Durant went off for forty three. The only player I had starting in my. <laughs> In my uh, fantasy lineup yesterday, so eh. yeah, it was it was a boring day around the NBA. I'd be pissed if I was playing on the Thursday right before, games, especially right before if the especially game. if you're an All Star. Oh yeah, I mean imagine if imagine if Damian <laughs> was playing, <laughs> played the game Thursday and the events today, all that, and then what Grant was saying earlier, he's right. Oregon State football with an interesting hire hired former NFL assistant John Garrett, brother of the. Cowboys. Cowboys head coach. Because obviously Jason we, Garrett. we lost our former offensive coordinator to the Giants. Yeah. So, oh. you know, you lose it you lose our coordinator to the NFL and you gain, gain some NFL it. talent. Yep. I like it. Apparently, uh Garrett and Coach Mike Riley have had a long, long relationship, so that's good. They have some oh, chemistry. Really? Yeah. That's good. That's so, good. Well you gotta work together if you're gonna you know. Work together. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. Get some NFL experience in. Definitely. I think, you know, he's a pro-style offense type guy, at least what he ran in Tampa, so yeah. he'll work with Sean. I'm excited. Future Luke. <laughs> Future Del Rio coming in. You know, he'll be able to experience it. I'm excited for that, definitely. Mm-hmm. What else do we want to talk about? General NBA topics? Predictions going forth after after the All-Star game? How do you think some teams are going to finish out the season? It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting for a ride out, especially for the East, because the East is just so wide open. It's well, just unpredictable. Somewhat. Well, Cause somewhat because it's, it's so terrible. Well, from the top, like first couple. The two. first you have it on lock, and then after that, it can do anything. Yeah. Yeah, but other than that, you don't really know what's going to happen after that. Yeah. Like anything can really happen. I mean, the, can, heck, the Pistons might even make the playoffs. Who they're, knows? They're in the ninth. Yeah, fire. the Pistons just fired uh, Mo Cheeks. Yeah, Mo Cheeks. Players were confused and puzzled. Why? Yeah. All right, I got a topic. Didn't even know what happened. Right. Let's do a little our personal Mount Rushmore because LeBron came out and Ooh, said his Mount like Rushmore it. was him, like Bird, Magic, and Jordan. Obviously ignoring Kobe. Yeah. So top four. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious when he did that, actually. Top four great. Top I think, four? Let's hear yours. Start it off, Grant. Well, Tip it off. I, I agree with Magic, Bird, and Jordan. And then after that, it's up for grabs. You know, I think. I think right now Kobe is probably the next most deserving. Five rings, all he's done for the game. Um, you know, he's an international superstar. I just think Kobe deserves it right now more than LeBron. But I think LeBron will eventually, near the end of his career, definitely replace Kobe. Yeah. Um, it's hard to ignore some of the guys like Bill Russell, obviously 10 rings, and Wilt. But I just think right now, because Kobe's so fresh in everybody's minds, he, so that's he your probably official, deserves That's it. your official four? As much as I... You don't like Kobe. I think he deserves it just because of his yeah his body of work. Yeah. I agree. I I agree with you with LeBron. Well, LeBron will eventually get yep. there. I already I know. So. But here's my top four: Magic, Michael, Kareem, and this one's tough. I'm gonna go Bill Russell over Oscar Robinson. Ooh. LeBron actually mentioned Oscar Robinson when he was talking about it. it too. It's a tough one between I, but then I just I just go rings. You know, if you you got to pick one though. 
Yeah, I know. I, I'm going to pick Bill Russell. Okay. And it's... I, I'm a really? big fan. I've always watched YouTube videos of Oscar Robinson. One of my favorite players to kind of just, you know... Look Underrated over. player. No one really mentions him. He yeah. Besides for Oscar Robertson is so stats. Smooth. He's known for his stats mostly. He's a stats I mean. guy. Yeah. Not a and, flashy. But, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm going Bill Russell just because Bill Russell. you can't ignore the ten. Ten rings. Yep. So yeah, that that in his place just you know takes it over. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Lamarcus. Oh my god. West. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All Blazer Rushmore. Let's let's see. Michael, obvious one. I got Michael, Magic, and as much as I, I would say, Michael, Magic, Bill, LeBron in the future for sure will take over. But as of now, Michael, Magic, Bill, toss up between Kareem and uh, Larry. I don't know which one I'd rather put. I'm. I guess Larry. Yeah, right. Larry's inspiring white Larry's guys everywhere. There we go. It, you know he needs <laughs> some love. We got. I got to have a white guy. Right? I got to put my fellow, uh, my fellow, uh, jump shot, <laughs> jump shooter, <laughs> jump shooter, classic Larry. What? Not, it, it's not really a jump shot. Let's be honest. It's a, it's a foot. It's a hop. It's a hop shot. <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> That's it's a funny a, word. The official hop shot. <laughs> it's a, it's a toe shot. Toe shot. Yeah. So what, what were your guys' opinions on LeBron coming out to make that statement, though? I just don't understand it. Was out of nowhere. It. Uh, I don't understand it. The other thing that bothered me, did you see... Uh, see a little attention greedy? I don't... The thing that bothered me the most... The, did he get asked it? He must have No, got, he... I. There's no way... He didn't get asked. He came out and said it. Hmm. And, you know, the thing that bothered me the most, he said in a separate interview right after that, they said, when will the pressure go on Kevin Durant to start winning rings? He said, when I retire. <laughs> It's just like out of nowhere. I don't like he's kind of flying under the radar this season. To be honest, why does he feel the need to bring the spotlight back to honestly? I mean, back to him. There's a time he's had the spotlight his whole entire career. This is probably the first year without anything, without any like hyper. It's honestly jealousy of I don't. I think jealousy so. of Durant. And did you see earlier in the year when he was saying that? Uh, he he said. Oh yeah, I have a score alerts on my phone every night. He gets reports on his phone of KD's stats. It's yeah. Like, why would you go out and say that? Just more attention. I don't know. It shows. I mean, it's it shows that he's trying to obviously like be better than the best. Yeah. And right now, Kevin Durant is the best. But I just don't understand it. Like, yeah. focus on your team, if anything. The Slim Reaper. <laughs> Kevin Durant is playing out of his mind right now. Yeah, he's he is already right now pretty much locked the MVP. <laughs> so probably when Russell comes back, he'll tone it down a little bit. But uh, tone the scoring down for yeah. sure. But. Hey, Russell's you know Russell's busy working at Subway. It's all good. <laughs> Russell's yeah. killing my fantasy hopes over here. Oh yeah, we got. I'm limping to the playoffs. We got Grant over here with the. Uh, I'm pulling a Blazers right now. You know now. he's <laughs> his uh, his team is number one in the league, but he's had some of the most unfortunate picks I, of the league. So I had obviously Derrick Rose. <laughs> Look and how that, that turned out. See how that turned out. Um, Bradley Beal's been hurt for probably half the season. Um, that was my third Bradley, pick. Bradley, Bradley. Lamarcus has been beasting, thankfully. Beasting and. Feastin, feed me mangoes. <laughs> we need a soundbite for that. We do. Yeah. Whoa. A little rant. Sorry about that. Kind of limping, you know. I don't know if Logan's going to make the playoffs Wait, over there. Wait, you know, just trying to make a... Uh, make a run? I'm just trying to make a run. Yeah. I'm just I'm just out here for fun, man. I'm, I'm the just, one who's sticking in there. I, I don't know, even know if I'm going to make the playoffs. I pulled the upset this week. Who knows? We'll see what happens, but... Eh. Seven six matchup. Still got a whole week left. Who between that's me? That's true. That's true. Me and Jake. No. Mm -hmm. What? A seven and six. Oh, like that's our the me scoreboard. Yeah. 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 Played. You know, picked up Steve Blake or not Steve Blake. Uh, Kirk Heinrich the other day. Just, just and Chris Kamen. <laughs> yeah. Kyle Singler. Yeah. I, was, Singler. I, I raised my eyebrows at that one. Singler's a been bit. balling. H has he? Yeah. Has he really? What's his stats? All right, I pull it up. Maybe for a sixth place team. Whoa, 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 we don't whoa, we don't whoa, accept whoa, whoa. Kyle Singler over here. Whoa, whoa! Just wait till he reads his stats. All right, you ready for this? He scored at least ten points <laughs> in the last five games, grabbing at least five rebounds in each game. Wow, just like three quarters of the league over there. Whoa, he scored twenty points in ten against uh, Philadelphia. 
on the first. Logan just likes the random, random underdog pickups. Speculative ad with Omer Sheik. I just picked him up. If he gets traded somewhere, that's... Oh, Grant, come on. It's my Grant, only hope. Really? You picked up him? Jeez, now I'm done. Picked up a Sheik. Oh, also, you dropped Courtney Lee. Like, yep. what? I dropped I, Lee. I, you, were, you were just trying to trade me him. It was just like... That's I, was, a, I know, I was trying what? to get... I gotta uh, maximize my assets, man. Oh, what? Grant, why would you ever drop Courtney Lee? Courtney Lee's solid. What? This is what Grant was telling me the other day. You know, I dropped him, and he's just now he's also trying to deal him. No, okay, I picked him up for the stretch run before the oh, break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, look at his stats. He's doing better than Singler over there. Just take a oh, little. Oh, I'm not comparing Courtney Lee and Singler. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see what it happens. We have a couple weeks left in the. In the league. A couple and weeks till the playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs? I'm excited. None of the... Let the NBA heat up. I'm none pumped. of the NFL players will make it, I don't think. I don't think James or James <laughs> is going to make it. James or James. They're hanging in there, though. They're hanging in there. Apparently, James Rogers is an oak. Jake, you want to yep. tell the... James Rogers Tell a little story oak. about that? Yep, he's in our league, and uh, apparently he lives at our apartment complex, so... Be expecting uh, if we get James on the show next week, that'll be a nice little guest. It'll be cool. An Oregon State legend, wide receiver legend in the presence of second string sports. Possibly the, one, of the, with James. one of the best Oregon State wide receivers to this date. Oh, yeah, definitely. Maybe even Quiz might come on. Who knows? <laughs> Have a little running back wide receiver duo, the two legends. I'd be down to that. So I think we're going to take a little PSA break here and come right back. You're listening to Second String Sports on KBVR. This is 88.7 FM. Stay tuned. Well, I finally did it. I opened a 401k. So you're giving up. Just like that. I'm giving up on what? I'm giving up an inheritance from a distant relative. Don't you think if there were a billionaire in the family would know about it? Listen to me, we are one phone call away from riding horses on our own private polo grounds. One call from christening yachts, having a butler using summer as a verb. How do you figure? Look, everyone's got a rich uncle somewhere. It's statistics. So the best thing you can do is just prepare for the inevitable. Right, which is why I thought maybe it would be smart to take control of my finances. You know, start using a budget, get out of debt, set some retirement goals. Budgets? Debt? You watch your mouth. Retirement shouldn't be a goal for us. It should be a way of life. When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. And we're back. That was a little uh, PSA break for you guys. You're halfway through the show, 88.7 FM, Second String Sports. You know, if you have a specific sports topic you guys want to talk about with us, you can always live tweet the show. At Second String KBVR is the Twitter. There's hashtag, hashtag Second String Sports. Tell us what you want to talk about. If there's anything specific, hop in the convo. We'll shout you out on air. You know, we like to get you active. If anyone's listening out there, if you're lonely, got to enjoy some Valentine's Day chocolates by yourself. You know, want some, maybe some girl advice. What to get your girlfriend today. You know, woke up, you forgot it was the 14th. Run to the store, cop some flowers. You know. Classic Valentine's Day actions. So Logan, um, you know, over the over the snow break we had, I think there was a little, a little breaking and entering. Story. Ah, we I wouldn't call it a breaking and entry. We were invited in to <laughs> just go have some fun. Personal invitation from Mike Riley, right? Yeah, yeah. Mike invited us in. <laughs> tell us, tell us the story. So uh, we were just, well, we, uh, first of all, I. Uh, we were about to go to Subway. We wanted to see if Grant wanted to come. He said no. And then so we uh, we took a whole bunch of the snow. It was really sticky snow, so it was perfect. It and was. Then, it, uh, it was just after the freezing rain had happened. So and then perfect. we uh, we uh, put it on Grant's door. And no, no, that's that's an under exaggeration. And they stuffed my door yeah. so packed that I could not open it. If yeah. I would open it. I'd- about five feet of snow would have fallen on me. So Grant was snowed in. He had well, to so I had to climb through. I removed the screen from my window, climbed through in my Birkenstocks, <laughs> kicked it all out. Socks or no socks? Uh, socks. Okay. Kicked it all. <laughs> hit, I brought. I brought a broom, so I was kind of like banging you out all the snow. Yeah. 
Oh my! I wish I could have seen you crawling out the window. That I know. That would have been a sight to see. Yeah. Me and Logan were wondering if anyone, because if you guys can't picture it, we literally, you know, took. Like you could not see my door. You couldn't even see the handle. And compacted it into the door so much that the handle was gone and the whole door was gone. It was a door of snow and ice. If anyone was walking past, they look and be like, "Huh? What the heck?" Yeah. And it was actually the revenge because uh, Grant wouldn't let me shower. Yeah. Yeah, because I wouldn't let flu-infested Logan use my shower and sink. I I didn't have the flu. (laughs) Our our power or our water was out, and uh, I hope our water goes out, and I'm not sick. And I ask Grant, and he goes, "Nah, you can't." (laughs) And he has no reason. I would have let you if you weren't sick. (laughs) I swear on my life. Yeah. So that was hashtag the revenge. Uh, We got it. We got it. It was good. Yeah, it was a solid revenge, and you it was know, pretty solid. Craw- crawling Give me props. Crawling it, we were patient with our revenge too. So it was. You didn't know when it was gonna come or what it was gonna be. You thought it, we might have egged your door. Yeah. TP the whole entire apartment complex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so was, the, the day started there. We that was great, and then we went to you know checked in the snow to some subway. The subway. We found a sled on the way, which made it then. You know, Logan, you want to you want to talk about your latest subway uh, obsession? Oh, my subway obsession! Oh, I love the Frito enchilada. <laughs> like I absolutely love it. <laughs> the Frito enchilada it's, sub at Subway. It's honestly the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. <laughs> better than uh, better than any uh, any sandwich you've ever had. Eh, yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, that's putting it up there. Yeah, I and mean, the day ended with holy a, grail of sandwiches. It is. And uh, right. also to uh, then end up, we were walking. Uh, we we kind of messed around the MU, try to make a jump. Didn't work. Didn't, didn't work. work. That kind of well. hurt. Yeah. So <sighs> then you know we're walking back. We see we see Mike Riley right in front of Reese. You guys, hey guys, come in. So we uh, we're like, sure, Mike. So we, yeah. <laughs> and that's what all the the football team was cheering us on, and you know they told they were cheering for us. We're like, okay, we'll come in. So we came into the Reeser, and, uh... Okay, and okay, no. Actually, nobody was inside yeah. Reeser. Whoa, the Grant, stadium were, was empty. Grant, you weren't even there. You didn't come with us. I saw video. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. They were there. They're on Have the video field. proof. Sure, Grant. But really, though. So anyways, they're really, Reeser by really, themselves. No one was so there. <laughs> Mike Riley was there. And Logan... And so, you know... Spots Why, why not? I Logan see the, sees the door open. He goes, guys, Reeser is open. Perfect, perfect little opening. It wasn't uh, little. On, the on, door was gaping. Uh, well, no, well, yeah. Well, and then so <laughs> I'm going for the sledding part. There's, okay, a, there's okay. a tiny hole on the very bottom of the football field where you enter it on the kind of the the parent side, not the student section area on the opposite side of the field. So yeah. I go up to the top of the very top of the stairs, sled my way down all the stairs through the hole onto the field. Most epic thing, the whole snowing break. Yeah. <laughs> it I'm was the, awesome. I'm the man. I'm the man. Logan went I'm down man, three I'm times. Man. You know, I was personally afraid that he would get clipped by the rail and then nah. slam into the uh, brick wall, and I'd be feeding him applesauce for the rest of the year. Whoa, 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 whoa! If I if I could, I'd be a loser in the Olympics. So I'm not no, really. Th- I'm not worried. So no, you at, at that point, the uh, snow was pretty powdery, right? Was it was it a bumpy oh. ride? Oh no! It, it was, was sort of. Bumpy, it was actually. smooth. It was smooth. It was smooth sailing. Yeah. Chris Smooth. Right. It's Smooth Dev. You should have done like a little GoPro action. If I owned a GoPro, I probably would. True. Mike does though. Should have told I Mike know. to bring it. That would have been so sweet. Exactly. Made a viral video. The snow was fun. I'll admit it. You know, everyone in Corvallis, everyone in Corvallis knew what happened last time with finals. But this one, ha- this missed one two came, days of school. This one came with w- much, much better timing, in my opinion. Finals, finals got kind of annoying. I just wanted to get home, get to winter break. It postponed everything. You know, for this one, I was like, I can feel it. I can yeah. feel missing some random classes, but that uh, that important. but then also, you were maybe feeling it, but then you were also cabin fevered. Yes, in fact, if you guys want, yes, cabin fever is real. The cabin fever was real. I, I don't know what it was. You know, there was, you know, on some days I don't really leave the apartment that much on like nighttime around there but i was just feeling trapped i don't know what it was logan logan knows what i'm talking about yeah i just wanted to do something i ended up taking some random walks in the snow just because yeah it's quite funny just because i needed that air i needed to make it out so yeah snowpocalypse part two good times good times good times with second string sports all right well we can uh 
transition to big some topic. What's the big topic? What were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna go into maybe some Oregon State B ball. All right, let's fi- let's start it with that, and then you know, we'll finish the show with the All Star Weekend. We uh, we had a little disappointing Arizona trip. Very disappointing to we say lo- the least. We lost Arizona State in overtime. It, yep. was a, it was a great game, but it was just that was sort of a game that I think a lot of people expected us to win coming off of our two wins, mm-hmm. the, the California Sweep Week, mm-hmm. and. Well, I they, well, they expected us to win at ASU, not at yeah, yeah. That's what I was talking but, about. Yeah, I expected they, an Arizona State win. Yeah, Arizona State game was it was disappointing, but at the same time, it was just a heartbreaker. This and uh, it was yeah. just it was exciting how we even got to overtime. Bruno made a clutch layup to even put us there. But uh, Bruno they, had a great game. What's his game. averages? He just scored twenty six in that. I'm pretty sure Bruno's average, average like, is like twenty two, twenty three, and like a couple couple yeah. assists. Yeah, you know the Arizona State game was a letdown, but then going into Arizona, no hey, one no one expected to win out of that. It would have been a huge upset. Yeah, you know? I know, I was expecting a better game. Their defense contained Roberto to ten points, just, only four rebounds. Yeah, uh, Berto was averaging seven point three points per game. Yeah, coming into that game, it was going, ugly. A, and it was an ugly playing game. any Arizona even at home, I so agree. It's uh, Arizona. That was a tough game. If Berto struggles, we struggle. No one else played good. It Angus was, had like 14 points. So. Angus, yeah, Angus. I mean, that was that yeah, could Angus be a bright, was bright side, spot, but, but Angus you know. actually made two three pointers. Also, they said yeah. that Oregon Live mentioned that um, <laughs> he's actually adding the three point shot to. His I feel like before. he's had the three point shot though. Mm, no, I, don't, I mean he's had it, but he had, he doesn't utilize it at all. If he's utilizing it more, I feel now. like he shoots at least one a game. Really? To I, be honest, yeah. I, I don't know. But yeah, he's definitely gonna he does. start working on it more and start adding it, which which could expand the offense. It'll be interesting. Whenever he catches at the top of the key, it's normally just a pivot and then a and people pass don't really the yeah, there you know there's not really much coverage on him at all. He's never really a threat. You know but that'd be nice to have a little Lamarcus Aldridge action from the yeah. top of the key. Angus popping trays. The Beavs are an interesting topic. You know, looking forward to Eric Moreland has been playing out of his mind. Eric yeah. Moreland has been having seventeen a great season, boards against sure. ASU. Yeah, it's incredible. I think if he comes back, you know, performs at the same or higher level, he's going to get drafted. I think we n- actually need him to come back. Oh yeah, definitely. We need him. To get, we him need and Hallis though. That's a great. That's a great tandem for next year. Mm-hmm. We can count on. Especially after losing, we're going to lose Roberto and Devon. Lose. So yeah. Roberto, Devon. It'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what uh, kind of recruits Craig Robinson is coming in here with. Because know. You know the if, glove junior, the mitten. Yeah, that'll be nice. He'll probably slide into the starting lineup. And you know, if Moreland, le- if presence. just think about this right now, if Moreland, right, if give Mor- it to me. if Moreland leaves, our mm, big, I don't think it will. If he does, if he does, but right All now, right. even right now, Moreland's playing small forward. He's not really playing down yeah, low in the I post. Agree. Our post players right now would be Gomez and. I can't even say the guy's name, to be honest. Wait, Brant's a senior or junior? Angus Brant's a... He's a sophomore. Si- sophomore? Isn't he? Who? Angus, Angus Brant. Angus Brant's a fifth-year senior. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? I was thinking... Never mind. He is? Yeah. Dang. So... so he's gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was the fifth year because of his, his, his injury. injury. ACL. Yeah, it is fifth year. Yeah. Dang. So, right now, our... Big men for next year are going to be Gomez, which at times, Gomez has, you know... He's been showing flashes. He's showing flashes, but... N- you know, I'm a little nervous there. And then also this rather random guy, even DR, I can't say it. It's something. I don't random. know. We'll just, call him, we'll just call him a big man. You know, Craig has to have some recruits coming <laughs> in. He has to have some big man recruits. <laughs> he does. It's true. I, it's I true. mean, there's no way we can start Gomez. I eh. just. Eh. We could. I mean. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It we, scares me. We could start Gomez and Olaf. Oh. oh. Hey, Loff. Loff yeah. can get it, get the action in there. Hey, we thought about it this year, but, you know, Oregon State does have open trials for basketball come fall term. <laughs> so, you know, second string sports wants to try, uh, try our luck at making the team. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll go out. You'll try out, Logan? Yeah. Think you can make it? Why not? Anything is possible. <laughs> You picture Logs making the team? To be honest, no. Hey, I scored <laughs> I scored twenty five points in my IM game last the other last Sunday. Not bad. Yeah, went off on them haters, Grant. 
I'm not hating. <laughs> Just saying. Nah, I probably won't. It's too much I, work. Uh, <laughs> plus, I have you even seen, have you watched OSU games in person? I plus mean, my plus my Oshkin slaughter won't be able to hold up. So. <laughs> I, Logan I the, has the knees of a 90 year old man <laughs> Knees of Greg Oden yeah. Plus Brandon Roy plus Derek Rose <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's, like the, that's like the worst insult you could ever give someone with knee problems <laughs> I could see it Coming yeah. off the bench <laughs> Logan's like the third option we're, we're like down or you know up by like 30 20 hey, I had like a minute left. Bring in the Alaskan I had a three-pointer in my competitive basketball game yesterday. I'll go out for the team. I'm just an, I'm just a snipe option. I just get past in the perimeter and just <laughs> snipe shots. And if, snipe I'm, if I make it, I make it. I'm a snipe option. Hey, what else do you want to call it? <laughs> you and Logan can work the pick and roll in the tryouts. Damon, yeah. Damon LaMarcus, Logan will drop 20 on the tryouts. Coach, I'll be like, all right, yeah, you can walk on. <laughs> Would you accept it, Logs? Of course. Eh, uh, maybe. You wouldn't? A walk on. You'd probably be like last man. Okay, would you yeah. accept it? Yeah, I'd accept it. Yeah. Of course you would. That's not even a question. I don't know. I'm scared for the I'm scared for the Oshkins. <laughs> okay, well, they have a training staff. What if they can cure it? Just imagine practicing Hopefully. against Eric Moreland. What else better I'd do get, we have to do with our time? I'd get dunked on. You get, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I'm on the team. <laughs> I'd rather be a walk on for football though. That would be incredible. If you had to be a player on the football team, what position would you be? Kicker, so I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to be a position, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Punter, undersized linebacker, water boy. I'd be a wide. No. Re- I'd be wide receiver. Easily. What about your Oshkin though? All those vulnerable cuts over the middle. No. I couldn't deal with that. Grant, you'd be the punter. I would be honestly punter or kicker. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I can see it. Grant Van Dyke. <laughs> what number would you be? I don't know. Eh, probably like zero. I don't think that's possible in Dang. football. Nah, you'd be <laughs> like that'd be so Dang. cool though. For a punter, you'd probably either be like something like fifty-five or something. Yeah, you'd like be that. a totally random yeah. number like fifty-six yeah. or and or one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No. So look forward to that next year, folks. You could see uh, me and Logan on Logan the Logan McGinnis team. on the OSU men's basketball team. Grant Van Dyke the, taking over as a Oregon State football punter. <laughs> you know his jerseys will be circulating. through. Hey, we already back. got the Tiger bloodline in the in the punter position with Keith Costell. It's true. You want to you want to be normal or continue the Tiger tradition? I'll keep it going, man. Just go for it. That'd be awesome. So I think we're going to take another little last PSA break of the show, and we're going to end off the show with the uh, the main topic that we, we've been waiting for, some All-Star Weekend. So you've been listening to Second String Sports, KBVR Corvallis. Stay tuned. I started going cold turkey. Well, at least when I'm in the car. I know I shouldn't do it, but it's so hard to stop. That's why I hide it from myself, so I won't be tempted. I used to do it all the time. I stopped by locking it in my glove compartment. My friend used to do it way too much. Now, I turn it off when we're in the car. My solution is simple. I just don't do it. There are lots of ways to stop yourself and others from texting and driving. How will you stop? Tell us at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. And we're back. This is Second String Sports. I'm going to close out the show with the, uh, the best topic of the day. Some NBA All-Star Weekend. Or as, I, or as me and like Grant like to call it. Damian Lillard weekend. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I cannot. I cannot wait. You know, seldom has the. I mean, I've always watched the All Star Game since I've been little, but it's always been just been like the side attraction. You know, you know, yeah, it's cool. See who wins the dunk contest this year. Three point. Yeah, yeah. But this year, it's like every single competition. I have a reason to be just zoned. Five events. No, not the celebrity. I hate not that. the celebrity or the little shooting stars. I'm sorry, thing. the celebrity higher game, shooting stars. The celebrity game's trash. I'm gonna watch it, Kevin Hart go for a four four P. I might watch that tonight. Actually, I, I, I honestly tune in. don't give a flying rat it's blank. Since when do rats fly? Since I told them they could. <laughs> but yeah, train, 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 train. Damien. Yeah, that's right. Five events. Five events. First player in NBA history to compete in three events in one Kay, day. Okay, so. The main three that we honestly really care about are three-point, dunk, and the game. And the game, right? Well, I mean, if you consider the game. 
I mean, she, I mean, the skills one is all right. Skills and, is cool. And rookie all star is is pretty cool. Well, it's not no, really, no, no, it's no, not no, rookie all star. It's not. I mean. I mean, it can be cool, but so, I honestly think Damien's heart's not going to be in let's that. Let's give some problem. predictions for three-point dunk, all right, all right. dunk and uh, I was speaking to this yesterday on the uh, TV show, but I honestly think he could take the skills again, defending champ. I honestly think he could take – I think Michael Carter-Williams is competing this year. In the skills? Yeah, if someone wants to pull up that stat, I'm not sure who's in the skills I competition this year. don't know. I think – I don't know. But uh, he performed well last year, obviously. Three-point competition – you know, Kevin Love's competing. We got Logan's uh, Bellinelli, Spurs. And uh, so, Ste uh, is Steph Curry in the three-point? Curry. Wait. Oh, wow. There's eight people. So And the skills? A Flalo. Oh, no. I was talking about three-point. Oh, wow. So three-point, a Flalo, Beal, Irving, Johnson, Bellinelli, Curry, Ooh. Lillard, Love. And actually, did you hear about the new rule this year? What's the new rule? They can put all the balls, all the um, two-point balls in one rack. And they can what? choose. So Aaron Aflalo what? was Aaron Aflalo was talking about putting them all in the corner because that's his hottest spot. That's weird. I don't know if I like that. You can you can it's put cool. all the point balls cool. in whatever rack. Just you think want. like you'd be like down by like yeah, it's save them for the last one or do them first. It's all strategy. Yeah. Do you think they're all gonna do that, or do you think a lot of them are gonna keep it conventional and just keep it? Wide? Honestly, I would do it like your second or third rack. Can they split it up and I do like do it, three no, balls? I you can do it as it's, as it normally is with one in each, or you could put them all in one, or you could. Yeah. Put like two and one. I'm, I think you can do whatever you you know. Want I put my, I put mine at the top of the key because that's honestly one of the easier shots. Yeah, it, it is. They're definitely gonna put their put it in their hot spots because yeah. yeah, I. What's written, Damien's hot spot gonna be? Top of the key. He's a top of the key guy. Probably top or one of the mid corner. Of the one key. of the corner. Yeah, but I don't yeah. know. Could you see him? Could you see him taking the win on that? It three I don't points know. always usually up in the air. Honestly, honestly, like Curry and Love are such streaky shooters that if they get hot, it's yeah, it's probably over. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, I'm just, I just love the three point contest. is awesome. Normally, when you think about Damien, he's kind of the guy who dribbles up then shoots. Yeah, he's a he's he's not a really poke. too much of a he's spot a pull up. up. Yeah, he's not really a he's spot normally up a dribble, shooter. but you know. But if we want, yeah, we'll see. And then um, the main event, you know, as I'm mainly, you know, I I honestly don't think he'll be able to win it. But I'm just dunk. I'm just excited to see what he pulls out because it's just hard to think what. What he's gonna try to do? He's got to do something. There's some crazy. real high flyers in yeah. here, though. Paul George, Terrence Ross, John Wall, Harrison Barnes, Damian, yeah. and Ben McLemore. I, think I got a. Uh, I got Paul George. I honestly, yeah, Paul George. Yeah. Paul George is going to murder the rim. Yeah, that was a rim shattering. If, I, you, if you didn't know, I don't know. Guys <laughs> like Ross. I mean, Ross won last year. Harrison Barnes can get up. Yeah, I think I, Harrison Barnes is gonna be. A, he's very underrated pick. Yeah, so I feel like nah, I, he's not I, gonna win. If I didn't pick Paul George, I'd pick Harrison, Harrison Barnes, Barnes just because it's a. It's a I agree sleeper. with you on that. Yep. Yeah. Nope. He's not going to win. I don't think Ben McLemore is going to pull anything. Did real. you see Ben McLemore say he's going to attempt a 720 dunk? What? It's like, bro, you can't. He's a high flyer. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. Keyword attempt. You want to say? <laughs> keyword attempt. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt a, a 920. <laughs> what? How much? How many spins would a 920 even be? Mm, like four spins. Four. I don't know. I suck at math. Five spins? And then... <laughs> I don't know. NBA. <laughs> so the All-Star uh, All Star game itself. Who's going to kind of... Who's going to get the MVP? Who's going to win? West. You think West? <laughs> I think West will win. Yeah. West is stacked. You know, West East... Is yeah, West he still has their starters are stacked, though, if you think about it. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't consider Dwayne Wade stacked. There was even rumors of uh, Dwayne Wade maybe not even playing. Really? He's pulling out? Because of his, uh, his little He's so beat up. going on. Yeah. They, uh, Kyle Lowry went on vacation. He started yeah. yesterday, went on vacation, wherever it was, and then uh, they're like, no, Kyle, we're actually going to need you in uh, New Orleans just in case if Dwayne opts out. Did he agree? Yeah. So he, uh, That's went, kind of an insult, though, I feel. Went on, went on vacation for a day, and now he's just chilling and... New Orleans winning for his call, maybe. If I was him, I would have been like, nah, sorry. <laughs> Screw you guys. Yeah, you didn't pick me in the first place. Yeah, seriously. I wouldn't leave my vacation just to be a 50-50, a oh, if Dwayne Wade decides not to play. That's insulting. It would be fun to chill in New Orleans, though. Yeah, That's party sure. town. That's for sure. I wonder what all the players have been up to. Oh, shenanigans. Some Mardi Gras. I could see Kevin Love's probably just sitting in his hotel room doing nothing. Oh. He's probably reading a book. You know. They're partying. They're, let's just be honest, flat out. They are partying so... Uh, Kevin Love's just at Taco Bell. 
<laughs> enjoying his double Kevin, XL nachos. Kevin loves yeah. in the club. <laughs> Kevin love in the club. Mm. <laughs> right, freestyle, spit a freestyle. Maybe next week. I'll spit one. I'll, I I'll, think, I'll rap battle James. I think it's just for uh, all, everyone, it's best Jake doesn't freestyle. Hey. Something might slip out. Uh, that's true. That's true. Something all right, who's MVP? Out. Call MVP? it. MVP? LaMarcus? That's my boy. I'm going to say <laughs> maybe a point guard because point guards kind of control like a little bit. Like Steph like or Tony Parker. Kyrie. Uh, or Damien. Or Tony Parker. Uh, Derp, 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 Whoop, derp, that's derp, wrong. Derp. It's for oh. sure not gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be either the big men. Nah, I don't think so. I'll be pissed if it's Kevin. Could Love. be. It honestly could be Durant or LeBron. I want to see them. I'm going Durant. <laughs> I want to see that head-to-head see, matchup. I can see, see a Durant. I want to see them in the fourth quarter when they actually start playing Durant on yeah. LeBron. The notorious fourth. The yeah, yeah. I'm Bad. going. Durant. One through three is the yeah. little uh, <laughs> Durant. No question. The dunks One through that. three is kind of a joke, and then kind of heats up. Yeah, I, I totally agree. It's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good weekend. I'm, you know, coming off of uh, midterms, I don't really have any homework to do this weekend. Oh, it's Valentine's lucky. Day. I got you know? a couple, a couple midterms next week, unfortunately. But speaking sorry. of speaking of Valentine's Day, if there's any ladies out there without a Valentine who want to meet me at Qdoba tonight and just get a free burrito, I'm all down. And the part of that deal is though, you have to kiss on the lips. Yeah, exactly. Willing or non-willing. Kidoba said that. That's the point. Jake, if you want, Jake, I'll just, be your Valentine. At Kidoba tonight? Yeah. Whoa. Jake, you might have to sneak a sneak a kiss on a random. Oh. I feel bad. I How feel bad? Jake, yeah. what's your level of desperation for this burrito? Are you willing to do it? Well, the real question is, would I be getting them the free burrito? Say you're in line. For me? Say you're in line, there's a girl behind you. Are you going to sneak one? Because it has to be buy one, get one free. You know, so it would have to be, if I got the free burrito, it would be a girl Jake, in front of me paying at so the register. How much money would it take for you to stand at Qdoba the whole entire day and ask a girl for a kiss? How long is the whole entire day? From whenever it opens to when it closes. Well, it's open right now, and it closes at like 3 a.m. All right. <laughs> All day. Right after this, you go there right now. How much cash? Two grand. All right. <laughs> you got it? You got that guap? Yeah. All right. So, ladies, if you see me at Kidoba tonight, which will probably be there. And Jake, you'll end up paying for the entree and the lady will get the free <laughs> burrito. Eh, you know. <laughs> Who knows? If I get a smooch out of a fine nah. lady, that's that's a win in my book. Jake would go half. He's on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey, I just hey, took hey, a kiss you, from you unwillingly. You Want to go half seas on this queso? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I just violated you. Now Cover half me, my nachos, babe. Give me three bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, Valentine's Day makes people do crazy things. It's true. It's true. All the uh, Fred Meyer flowers have probably been purchased. They're probably boosted. They have been. Boost they probably boosted the prices to like $25 for the last minute once You this don't even want to know. <laughs> Trying to hit it something? Speaking from first hand experience. <laughs> Logs, did you? Nope. Step only went up to, to the plate? Only went to dinner. Boo. Play the boo sound. Uh, nah, actually, Katie left it for the weekend, so it's all uh, good. All right. Yeah, it's like that what makes a man? <laughs> mm, sure, that and a pair of testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange board. <laughs> Valentine's Day. All right. Well, on that note. On that note, it's been a happy great Valentine's Day, everybody. It's been a great show. Happy Valentine's Day from a uh, second string sports to you, from all of us here. Once again, this has been Jake McGrady at jmcgrady7 on Twitter. If you want to chat it, chat it up, make me your Valentine. And Logan McGinnis at LT McGinnis. Grant Van Dyke, you'll find me in the mango aisle. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke for any hard uh, hardcore listeners of the show. But anyway, Second Street Sports, KBVR Corvallis. Once again, we're every Friday at 9 a.m. Sports talk, life talk, just advice, you know? Enjoy your Valentine's Day. Take that girl out. Get a smooch at Kidoba. Enjoy your All-Star weekend. Get some C's chocolate. Enjoy the All-Star game. Damien's going five for five in events. Yep. I hope you guys tune in. Tune into the All-Star games. Go Beavs on Sunday. Beat the Ducks. Get the Civil War sweep. You've been listening to Second String Sports. It's been a good Friday. Happy Valentine's Day, folks. I love you. <laughs>